so my name is Bren Smith. I'm a lifelong commercial fisherman and I'm executive director of Green Wave. And we're a, a fisherman and shell fisherman run organization trying to um, tackle climate change and create a new blue-green economy. We came here 150 miles, three days by boat, a group of fishermen, to, uh, to bring the message to President Trump. That there are going to be no jobs and no food on a dead planet. Climate denial is the real job killer for us. Every day in the water we see the effects. We see dwindling fish stocks. My farm was wiped out twice by hurricanes. That unless we address uh, climate change, I'm not going to be able to make a living. And where are you from, sir? I'm based in New Haven, and we've got a, a network of 10 farms throughout New England. And what type of things have you observed? We hear troubling things about our seas all the time. There was a story out a couple of days ago about how the rate of humpback whales dying has increased quite a bit. Scientists don't know why. And we're hearing about, as you said, dwindling fisheries, um, the trolling method that is used to scrape the bottom of the, uh, the, of the seabed to get fish. I mean, how much of this is sustainable? And talk about how we can create a sustainable um, industry for the fisheries to continue. Yeah, so I, I dropped out of high school when I was 14, and I've been a commercial fisherman since then. I've seen, the, this is my 30th year on the water, and I've, I've you know, seen it evolve. I'm in Long Island Sound. There are no lobsters to catch. That used to be the most vibrant fishery in our area. They've all moved north. One out of four marine species are expected to go extinct within, uh, uh, within, the, net, in, within the coming decades. I mean, this for us, and again, it's extreme weather we're seeing all the time, for, kind of from every angle we're getting hit. I think the answer is that while the country, part of the country goes backwards, we need to move forwards. We need to build the alternative. We need to be the change and really build it. So what we do is we've got a model of, of ocean farming where anybody with 20 acres in a boat uh, and $20,000 can start their own farm and be running. We have, we have requests and farms on, in every coastal state in North America and 20 countries. This is really about regular people, blue collar innovation. You want to rebuild the middle class, you come to us, come to our communities and we'll the answers. What's going to happen if Donald Trump's budget is passed and these enormous, some call it draconian cuts, are coming to federal agencies such as the EPA and NOAA and NASA? What's going to happen? Yeah, so, I mean, Trump's given us a false choice, those of us that work, that we need to pick between jobs and the environment. No, that's a false choice. We need both at the same time. Protecting ecosystems is about building the economy. The NOAA cuts are going to be disastrous for those working on the water. NOAA is the birth of shell fishing in the, in the, in the country and the birth of aquaculture. Um, we need it desperately. They monitor. It actually puts our lives at risk. Those buoys and the weather reports that they do is what keeps us safe out on the water. I mean, this has direct effects. EPA keeps our waters clean in the Chesapeake Bay, everywhere else, so we have ecosystems to grow in. I mean, this is not some sort of far-off thing. I mean, some, you know, thing that's happening in D.C. This is happening and inspecting us directly. And you say you're based out of New Haven, Connecticut. Uh, so you're in the Northeast, in the New England region. I'm sure you've heard about these gigantic icebergs that have broken off and are floating north of you, I believe in Newfoundland. Yeah. That's not that far away. What's going to happen if the sea levels rise along the shores of New England? Well, we, li we live in a house right, right in a bay uh, in New Haven. It's an 1870s oysterman's house, actually. And the, the, for the first time, the hurricanes came in during Hurricane Sandy and flooded our entire neighborhood. So, and at the same time... The and that, that had not happened before? No, that hadn't happened before. That, uh, those, those houses have been there literally since the 1800s, and it's the first time. So, and then at the same time sea level rise, you know, it makes the storms, um, uh, the, the intensity increases because the storm surge comes in, they reach further into land, um, uh, and those destroy our farms. Sort of the more violent uh, those storms are, um, uh, you know, just it, it, can, it, it can wipe us out. Yeah.